hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ino in today's video we'll look at how we can install Ubuntu 24.04 LTS version on our VMware workstation I already have a VMware workstation open here now be before we can begin the installation we need to have the ISO image file so we need to open a browser and download it so let's search for Ubuntu download and then We'll go to the link that takes us to ubuntu.com download ubuntu desktop so i'll click on this link once we get to the site you can see here we have ubuntu 2404 lts which is the latest uh, lts version of ubuntu so lts stands for long-term support now what that means is that we have five years of uh, free security and maintenance updates and uh, in order to download this we just need to click on this and before you download it, you can also look at the system requirements here. And as you can see, we need 4 GB of uh, memory and uh, 25 GB of uh, free hard disk space. Now, to download, just click on this. And the download should begin. It's a big file size, so it's downloading. And it could take a, it could take a while. It's like uh, 5.7 GB, almost 6 GBs. I already downloaded this, so I'm going to cancel this here. And once you have it downloaded, just uh, take note of where you downloaded the file, and then you can proceed with the installation. Now back on uh, VMware Workstation, to begin the install, we'll click on Create a New Virtual Machine, so we'll click on this. And then we'll go with the typical installation, click Next. Here, select this option, Install a Disk Image File ISO. Browse to where you downloaded the ASO image. I'll find somewhere here. And this is the file. So select your ISO image and click open. Now it's attached. Click on next. Now you need to give it a name here. I'll call it Ubuntu 2404. Uh, and so let's put a username here and the password. Next, and um, virtual machine name, I'll go with Ubuntu 24 FM 04. This is the location of the folder where it's going to install it. You can change it if you have to. I'm going to go with the default here. I'll click next. The disk size, it's a 25. I'm going to with, I'm going to go with 30 here. Actually, with 35. I uh, will go with the split virtual disk into multiple files option. Click next. Here we can customize the hardware. So click on this option. That's the memory for GB, processor 2. Uh, we have the ISO image, image attached already. If you don't have it attached, you can browse to it. Network adapter, the, uh, the default is NAT. Depending on how you have your network set up, you can use NAT, which shares the IP address with the host machine. But if you want to be able to reach this computer from your other devices on your network, you can use the bridge option. So I'm going to use the bridge option here. And I'm going to leave all the other settings as default. I'll click on close. Uh, here, I'll click on finish. And let me click on this. This is the virtual machine we just created. If you needed to make any other setting changes, you can just select it and right click on it and go to settings. And here you'll have the same options to make any changes you need to. Since I'm not changing anything here, I'm going to just close this. And now I'm just going to power this machine with it selected. I can just click uh, on this virtual machine and it should begin the installation process for us so i'm going to be pausing the video as we go along and i'll just come back when i need to input any information so i'll go ahead and pause the video because the installation is going to take a while and i don't want to bore everyone with the entire process so at this point as you can see there's a new window that popped up and it's saying it's preparing Ubuntu okay and we have to select the language here I'm gonna go with the default which is uh, English click on next 
and here I'm not gonna be changing anything I'm just gonna click on next keyboard I'm gonna go with the default which is English US next now it's asking that we connect to the internet we should um, improve the installation I'm gonna go with our wired connection here you can also say do not connect to the internet so I'm gonna click next here I'm gonna skip this and you're being asked if you want to try Ubuntu or you want to install it we are gonna we are gonna be installing it so I'm gonna go with the option of installing Ubuntu click next and I'm gonna go with the interactive option I'm gonna go with the default selection here now here we can install uh, graphic and Wi-Fi adware. There's also an option to download and install support for additional media formats like MP3, MP4. So that's gonna take a longer time to install. So I'm just gonna go with the fast option. Click next. And now here I'm just gonna go with the fast option to erase to erase disk and install Ubuntu. Okay, it's saying to create your account. So we'll put a name here. And we'll say Ubuntu 24.04. Do a password here. And then I'm going to require my password to log in. I click next here. Here we have to select the time zone. I'm going to go with the default here, New York. And it's saying to review our choices. And then we'll click install. And I'm going to pause here again. I'll come back again if we need to input more information. Okay, so at this point, the installation is done. So it took several minutes, but it's uh, completed. All we have to do is uh, do a restart, and we should be able to start using Ubuntu Linux 24.04. So I'll click on restart now, and we'll wait for the uh, reboot. I'll come back once it's uh, reloaded. Okay, I'm at I'm at the login screen here, so let, let me log in. I'll click on this and I'll put in the password that we created. And we're able to log in. So this is the welcome screen here. I'm just going to click next here. Uh, I'm going to skip this. I'll click next. I'm not going to share data. I'm going to click next. I'll click finish. And let's open the terminal and see what version we have installed. So let's click on show apps option here. Click on the terminal. Let me right click it and uh, pin to dashboard. And to check the version, we just do cut C OS release. And the version is 2404. And I usually like to make sure I have uh, internet access, so I'll do IP address here. Make sure I have a valid IP, and I'll see if I can ping, see if I can ping count three, Google, Google.com. So three packets transmitted, three packets received, zero packets lost, so we have internet access. So that's all for this video. That's how you can install Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, the latest LTS version on uh, VMware Workstation. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.